Looks like Shark is back on the menu, boys. And we gotta kill her quick. Because we want the fresh meat now. So, let's do this. We're going to immediately swap into piercing stance. We're going to draw a page immediately. And just go ahead, we'll throw stagger protection on there. We usually want to get a draw here. And the main thing we're trying to do is get rid of resilience this turn. So we want to be able to inflict our status ailments onto her. Everyone else is here just to make it go by faster. I'm going to inflict Vapor on with Yawn. And I'm going to use Loss of Senses at the end. And hopefully we'll be able to get get and be able to inflict some feeble onto her. Hopefully, keywords. Actually, I'm going to change that up. Put vapor up here because we want to make sure she's smoked. Then we'll throw test run here because we're still trying to generate emotion points as quickly as possible. And the more emotion points we have, the easier this will be. And important to note, smoke is not a status element, so we'll be inflicting it no matter what. I don't know why resilience is still up, but we're inflicting status ailments now. Okay. So if you're lucky, the purple tier will be slow and you'll be able to get feeble onto her, which makes this thing a whole lot easier. So always for this scene, use Dagger Press and make sure you win the Clash for it. And we're going to run Laceration as well to be able to do stuff. Mr. Philippe is going to tank one Break the Egg. And the two in the back are going to start using fil Fresh Filet in order to start getting Bleed onto um, Retta. Because now we're going to try and kill her as quickly as possible. If Jan's fast enough, he'll be able to apply smoke. Oops. Apply smoke onto her. In this case, no. But th this person right here is getting targeted, so we're going to take advantage of that to get the smoke onto her. So she'll have eight smoke. And then later on, he'll inflict more bleed because of fresh fillet second hit. Jan is going to be a cheerleader, basically, and try and get something. Uh, let's see. I can re move the test run here just so we can get an emotion level. Because we still want to be rather quick with our emotion levels. Because we gotta get to emotion level 3 as quickly as possible for a chance to do an early kill. Because we are trying to get uh, the red shoes one. Because once she moves on to her second phase, we can kill her. Hi, Coco. Yes, who's a good girl? But as you can see right now, we are already inflicting 40 bleed. So right now, we were able to get two people onto her. If you can get more, you would take something else. But right now, we're going to take Cocoon to make these dice rolls a whole lot easier. We're going to put it on the purple tier because she can re-roll. And you probably get the maximum. So she'll inflict all these sweet debuffs onto her. So this turn, we're going to inflict Laceration. One laceration, one dagger press. We want to keep the purple tier as fast as possible. And everyone else is going to inflict status ailments onto Greta. Jan is going to keep applying his smoke. And it, the people in the back will start, start using fresh filet in order to make sure she still has a lot of bleed onto her. The only problem is getting rid of that one. Uh, a stagger press there, actually. Purple Tear can go in for a one side attack on MASH. And these guys can start using lots of senses, fresh fillet, get that bleed count nice and high, make sure she has a lot of feeble. that there, this here, and Jan will keep applying debuffs on to her to make sure we get the maximum amount. More feeble. We're just making sure Greta is just inflicted as possible. 
Because the more ailments, the faster this fight goes. Because right now, we're already up to 54 completed. So she's going to be taking a lot of damage. And on the following turn, she'll go into her next phase. So, good. So, the passive we're taking. Surprise gift. <laughs> and I think this is starting... I like this more than Obsession. It's positive. It's easy to get. It's tier 1. It's rather good as well because you inflict 2 to 7 true damage onto her. And you inflict bleed as well. The bleed is useful for the following scene to make sure this bleed count will be about 60, 70. And we're going to put it on the purple tier because she's the fastest. So we're going to start off with her clashing. Since Greta has counter dice, we can get an easy clash in on that. Then we'll make sure Purple Tear is the last one to do anything. Because it only procs and clashes, and the user can't be the one clashing. So Hod will have to be the last one to clash. Everyone else can clash in order to proc it. So I can go in with single point stabs. All the fun stuff. Does Jan have light recovery? Yes, he does. So, at this point, I'm going to use Disgorge Inert. Maybe he'll get lucky, but it's mainly for the emotion level up. We want to make sure we hit the next emotion level. And we're going to inflict as much bleed as possible this scene. So, loss of senses here. And we want to try and clash, so we inflict more with deep wounds and razor strikes. Fresh Filet will always be the last thing played. We're going to use fresh filet onto seasoned meat. And we want to just try and clash with aggressive dice as much as possible. Jan can go in for one sided. Well, semi one sided. And that should be enough. We're going to get a lot of bleed on her this turn. Ooh, we got the big damage. Damn, that was a lot. So right now we only need about 50 bleed in order to kill her if we get the Abno page. I didn't even set up a counter as well for how many times we proc res. I know for this one isn't as good for, but other bosses I think it has it's nice passive damage. We're going to take alertness to make sure we win the clash. And we got sanguine desires. Okay, we can kill her this turn. Mmm, blood for the blood god right there. So good. So right now we ended exactly on five. All we gotta do is make sure she doesn't go into the sack. So you're going to tank that. And we're going to switch to slashing stance. Well, make sure Jan has that. Otherwise, you can stay in pure stance. But this will deal a whole lot more damage. And this is all we need to do. This will be enough to kill Greta this turn. 54 bleed. Just watch that damage. Uh huh. 117, man. Oh, crap. One more thing, make sure you have more attacks going out. But we have enough to kill this thing. I messed up there. I should have had. I should have made sure Greta was attacking someone else, but that would have been a one turn kill. Enjoy your bloody shark meat, subscribe for more, and consider learning how to cook it by beating Philippe in seven scenes. Link is on screen.